Good morning, all of you. Uh, it's actually 4.50 in the p.m., but uh, I just woke up. Oh, wow, Stork uh, coming in in purple. Interesting, interesting. Um, what I was going to say, actually, I'll just get straight to it. Um, I, I really wanted to do a game, the last game on Stork, it was Stork versus Cal, and um, <clears throat> I wasn't able to get a hold of a mod for it, so I couldn't commentate it, but I did watch the game on YouTube, and um, <laughs> basically, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about Stork, I guess you could say. Um, obviously, losing a big, 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 big game to... Um, to Jadong in the OSL Finals, and he was really, really upset by it. You could see him afterwards, there were tears coming out of his eyes. Um, <coughs> he really wanted those OSL Finals. By the way, sorry about um, a couple things real quick. First of all, the, oh, much setting up a proxy pile in here. We'll see what that, what that turns into. Um, sorry about uh, the, first of all, the, the last game we did, Firebat Hero versus Savior. Um, both of the um, videos that I uploaded messed up. I, I set them to upload and then I went to sleep and I was asleep for a hell of long, like over 12 hours I think. I guess I was behind on sleep. And um, <clears throat> in any case, um, oh, sorry. I know the other thing I was going to apologize for is that I'm, I'm cutting off of a sickness so if I sound a little bit messed up in the video, the other dual commentary or in this one, Sorry about that. So much setting up a proxy gateway and then running straight in. He's not setting up a second gateway. That's interesting. So um, he might just be going for some kind of a harassment, uh, trying to um, <clears throat> set up, just send in a few zealots, pick off a few probes um, while he's building in his main base. We'll see. Maybe he might run his probe out and then run, make a second gateway. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I watched Stork versus Cal and. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, Cal is a pretty decent player. He's a, he's a pretty good player, but he just, I mean, he's not that good. I mean, he's hes the, kind of the up-and-coming Protoss player, and I think Stork realizes what's going on, so he's put up a second gateway. He knows he's going to need two gates to fight off whatever's coming, but he I think he suspects there's a two-gate proxy, but there's only one gate proxy, so this could be interesting. Um, <clears throat> in any case, uh, yeah, so Stork basically threw the game away, and Stork finally sees that proxy, I think. Stork threw the game away. He, he could have won that game he just played sloppy just sloppy that's all there was to it um, he I mean the very first thing he did the very first combat um, stork ran his shuttle ahead of his forces and his shuttle flew right above enemy dragoons and died with the reaver in it he didn't even pop the reaver out and that was just completely sloppy and yeah so we do see here that um, much is just trying to come in here and pick off some probes Stork's doing a pretty good job of running his probes around. He's got more zealots than Mush does at this point, and um, so he's able to probably hold off this, this um, little zealot push pretty well. And that's partly due to the fact that Mush is not committed to it. He's just got that one gate, so he's probably actually going for tech back in his base. He's probably got a second gateway back in his base. Um, getting a cybernetics core up or something like that. So uh, that's kind of a cool strategy actually by using this forward gateway to put pressure on and then <clears throat> when they suspect some kind of all-in two-gate push instead going and and much is actually he's accomplishing a lot. He's killed off four or five probes now and uh, Stork isn't doing a very good job of um, blocking those zealots from coming into his supply line <laughs> for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, much it looks like setting up for an, an expansion even over back in his base. And um, Stork going for getting some tech up while this is all going on, so he's not he's not going to be too far behind when this uh, nonsense gets finished. And yeah, so there's a couple zealots uh, picking off that pylon. Uh, so good job by Stork. So that's going to be the last of the zealots there. <coughs> um, yeah, in any case, so then after uh, Stork's Reaver got picked off in that shuttle, then it was just all downhill from there. And Stork just, yeah, just just didn't play well. I mean, normally, like, Stork, his normal Protoss versus Protoss, it's, it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to watch, and he would have... He would have been able to hold that off. He would have been able to come back with superior tactics and superior um, psi storms and all that, but he just didn't. He didn't cast very good, you know, exceptionally good psi storms. They were good. 
you know, Stork that day probably would have beaten a lot of other Protoss, but <clears throat> uh, Cal was just, just good enough, and Stork was just off of his game enough that uh, it just didn't happen. And so we do see here that much is getting that tech. He's got two gates in his in his main, so he's going for a long term. Stork trying to come in here and pick off a few of much's probes, and that's probably a good thing for him to do. Uh, since he lost a lot of probes there in that push, and, and at the end of it, he's ended up with a, almost exactly as many zealots as um, much, except much has not lost probes, and Stork has. So um, the advantage, uh, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna give the advantage to much actually. He's he, he he accomplished enough. He didn't accomplish a lot with that little push, but he accomplished enough. He put Stork on the defensive, and um, that's really. Uh, I think it really did accomplish a significant amount with that, um, not just putting Stork on the defensive, but also putting him behind economically. Um, so Stork is going to have to pull something out to, um, to basically come back in this game, because Much has a little bit of advantage here. He's, he's, um, <coughs> doesn't have the Dragoons out. It looks like he's trying to hunt down that Zealot of, of Storks. I'm sorry, even though they're purple and orange, it's hard to tell the difference between the, I'm, I'm so sorry that it's, it's uh, I can't tell the difference between the Zealots, at least. The Dragoons, it's easy to see, but I, I think that was Stork's, um, Zealot. And yeah, see, Stork not microwing as well as he could, getting several hits on, on his Dragoons there. Um, it's like he's just off. It's like he's just, his will is not there anymore after, um, losing those OSL finals. Um... Uh, yeah, it's just. <laughs> Anyways, and I, what I heard, and this is really disappointing. I'm not sure if I'm, I can even be a Stork fan after all this crap. But apparently, Stork didn't practice for the OSL finals. Like WTF? He just decided that oh, it's, I'm too good, and I'm not even gonna practice them. I mean, he practiced some, obviously, but he apparently didn't practice a lot. If he'd really pra I mean, if he'd practiced his butt off, which obviously Jadong totally was totally committed and just practiced his freaking head off all, you know, for two weeks or something like that. Um, Stork didn't do that. He didn't practice very much is what I heard. I could be wrong on that. But if he, if that's true, then that's that's just lame. That's just lame. That's just, lame. That's just cocky. And, um, <coughs> yeah.